Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you my new Celestron PS1000 telescope. Uh, before this, uh, I was using uh, uh, Celestron's very basic beginner model. Uh, uh, and uh, to be honest, I still don't know much about the telescopes, but I've always been fascinated with the um, night sky. And uh, with this telescope, I'm hoping that I will be able to learn enough uh, and that so that I will be able to see some planets and uh, I will try to learn uh, to take some photographs using this telescope I don't know how to do that and uh, usually unboxing is done by people who are experts but I'm doing I'm just showing what I've got and uh, yes I'm at level zero still a lot to learn uh, to learn about uh, how to use it which lenses to use and um, which filters to use uh, in this kit we've got uh, three uh, three eyepieces and uh, some filters as well uh, and so i'm i'm pretty excited about this um, it took me a while it's very heavy uh, especially the counterweight uh, it's very heavy and um, it took me a while to just set it up and align it accordingly uh, I still don't know how to align it uh, depending on the target. Uh, I don't know how to calibrate it. So there is still a lot to learn. As I said, I'm at level zero, but I'm really excited about this uh, telescope. Uh, I may have you, uh, I may have tried to buy a better version, but this one I got for uh, around 180 to 200, I think, uh, 200 pounds. Uh, it was on at the clearance sale so i just bought it and um, i just want to learn this it's all manual and with these different controls uh, uh, in this uh, it took me time to figure out basically what to use what to what fits where so yeah but um, it was fun it took me an hour to assemble this uh, telescope so if you guys know anything about uh, telescopes if you have any suggestions recommendations please feel free to put it in the comments i really want to learn about how to use this telescope and how can i make a better use of it and uh, once i once i learn enough of it i would definitely share more and more with you guys as well uh, I do follow Astro Backyard and uh, Astro Biscuit uh, channels. Astro Biscuit, I really like him. He's London based and uh, uh, he is always up with his challenges for cheaper telescopes and still managing to shoot really good pictures. So uh, yes, I think uh, I'll definitely go with that. If you have any channels where I can learn about uh, uh, about stuff like at a beginner's level that will be really appreciated and uh, that's how things will work I guess I did uh, after assembling this telescope I did manage to uh, look at moon uh, I I didn't uh, shoot any videos and I'm not sure how I can shoot videos at this point but um, I think uh, it it's just a process it's a learning curve so hopefully i will be able to do that eventually um among my favorite channels as i said astro biscuit is one of my favorite channels in this regard he shoots from the city that's the biggest challenge and uh, and he uses very uh, cheap telescopes when he basically picks up any challenge and uh, astro biscuit also has a community of uh, um, astrophotographers who use telescopes and uh, um, sometimes they all collaborate and um, basically point telescopes at a single object and uh, everyone collaborates on such things uh, so it's very exciting uh, so I want to learn enough so that I can uh, reach to that point where I will be able to collaborate with uh, with all of them and um, yeah that's somewhere i want to be and uh, as i said again and again uh, please feel free to recommend uh, uh, recommend good channels where i can start learning about this telescope and the previous telescope that i used was a simple telescope so there was no alignment there was no 
uh, need to align anything so you just aim it at um, a distant object and you can start just looking at it uh, but with this i think uh, there is more to learn and uh, the learning curve is quite steep i think so it's a bit intimidating at the beginning but uh, once it was assembled it really felt very good and uh, yes i'm really excited and looking forward to looking at the cosmos exploring cosmos at least our solar system and uh, distant galaxies definitely thank you for watching